Woo! So today we're gonna be unboxing a device that we got from Vivor. Uh, I have a diesel heater from them. We also got a extension cord for the RV from them. So far I've been pretty happy with their products, so we thought we'd give this a try. This isn't something I necessarily would have got in RV life, but they offered it to us and I just really couldn't say no. So we'll see how much I can actually use it. But this is a CNC engraving machine. It's the S3018 Pro model. Don't know what that means, but we'll find out. Literally had this in the RV in a box since Quartzsite, so it's been three months. So it's about time we actually try and do something with it. I have a couple ideas of what I might be able to do, but CNC is a little new for me. I've done a lot of 3D printing and stuff like that, which is a similar concept of calibration and tweaking, but it's a little bit of different software design and knowing when to change your bits and all that stuff. So it'll be interesting. If nothing else, you guys might get a fun video of me destroying this thing on accident. Oh boy. This is gonna be a project. I thought it would be much more assembled than this. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a lot more put together than I thought. So it's completely in pieces, not even half assembled. 3D printers like that I've gotten were kind of like half assembled. You just have to put the armature together and that's like it. So this is completely 100% in pieces. So we're gonna grab lunch so I don't starve to death before I get this thing put together. Okay, so two hours later, got it assembled. The assembly instructions are okay, not too clear. I ended up putting the big screws in here when they should have gone over there, so I had to take all those out and then put them, move them around. Instructions could always be better with this kind of stuff. There was absolutely no instructions on where to put the wires, so use common sense and deductive reasoning, I guess. <laughs> um, there is a red dot on the motor here that shows what I'm assuming is for the positive side. But when we power it up, we'll find out if I got it right or not. There are, is a control board that has basic instructions for it. I think it might allow for you to do Wi-Fi, lets you put in a SD card, and it actually came with an SD card. That's cool. 128 megabytes, woo! I don't know. So far, it's it seems so-so. And now I get to spend 
only God knows how long to try and figure out how to actually make it work. So, we'll see. something working. <laughs> so, really curious because this has no sea limit. So we've cut some pieces here out of the shop that here at work. They're just really not very good pieces of plywood, which is fine for testing. We've got the remote set up. That works, so you have two options. You can either have your computer plugged into it the whole time that it's doing its thing. Well, we don't want to do that because I don't want to leave my computer outside all day. So we're setting up the remote. I'm gonna upload one of the demo files that it came with and we'll get everything set up back outside and see what happens. <laughs> Go down just here. I want it just so it's touching. Right there. or something so we're gonna flip it over try a different G code and see what happens <laughs> it's probably the G code error and the files they provided. So sometimes this would happen on 3D printing too. It could be a bad memory card, the G code itself could be bad, but it's really annoying. You know? so. All right, three times the charm. Now we're trying a simple, just iPhone block letter. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Change memory cards and it's still being a pain in the butt. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Three G codes provided, only one worked. This was the first attempt. It just decided to just randomly go in one direction. Second attempt did the same. This was me, I messed up. That, that was not an accident. And then we got iPhone. And I don't even know how to make my own engraving files. I know it's kind of similar to creating your own G code for like 3D printing, but I, I don't know. So maybe I'll play around with it, but <laughs> we'll see. It's an okay thing if you know what you're doing. I don't. Still, I think probably spend a couple extra hundred more dollars to get one with the stops and an emergency stop button is nice. Um, you know, basic safety features are always a plus. This one's pretty bare bones. You can't hook a laser up to it though. Let's 
just gonna see if our neighbors want it. Because <laughs> I have no need for it. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Like, just for free. We, uh, we just got it to review for a video and we don't want it now. <laughs> Do you guys want it? Okay, cool. <laughs> I've done 3D printing and stuff in the past, but you know, I, we live in here full time. So sure, I'm yeah, same with us, yeah. Like, you know, I did, it does work, you know. Okay, so, yeah. Like, yeah, it's pretty new, it's yeah. just meh. But it's just, I don't have the headspace to try and get. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> uh, does it take a, like a program or something? Or yeah, yeah. Or work on the phone or it's, like Bluetooth? Or? Um, it comes with some software and stuff. 